I think the national media is really lying to you. They give you these broad real estate market statistics that don't accurately reflect what's happening here locally. So if you care about the Southeast Florida condo and single family home market, this video is for you because I'm going to give you the three market conditions that I think are driving prices right now. Now, despite what the national media is saying, we're not going to see prices in our area crash, decline, slump, or soften. Let's get into the three market conditions that are driving prices now. For the last two years, buyers were buying anything available. Oftentimes it was sight unseen. They didn't care about the comps, they didn't care about the condition. Florida offered a vacation from restrictions, great tax benefits, and of course the warm weather. But this year, there's been a shift. Buyers have become more discerning. They're more thoughtful in their purchase. So if a property needs a redo, they're not gonna pay top dollar for it, even if it's in a great location or has a water view. But as we're seeing this shift in buyer mindset, we're also seeing a chronic and almost incurable disease striking many of the sellers in the area. It's called overpriced tosis. It's a toxic and pervasive condition, causing sellers to significantly overprice their listings based on the last two years of buyer enthusiasm. It's only after an exhaustive amount of days on market that sellers finally reduce their price. But these price reductions are getting misinterpreted by prospective buyers and the media. These price reductions are not a reflection of a down market. An extremely inflated list price that gets reduced is still a high list price. Prices are never going back to pre-COVID levels, I'm sorry to say. And that brings us to market condition number two, unrealistic buyer expectations. Buyers are hearing on the news that the market is softening or they're seeing price reductions. So when they get here, they're really disappointed with the high list prices. I get asked over and over for a two bedroom, two bath condo with a water view that's move in ready in a newer building for between five and $700,000. But those are the prices of yesterday. And when I say yesterday, I mean pre-COVID. If you could get all of those things for that price range, it would be on the market for a day, or it might not even make it to the MLS. When I have to give buyers the bad news that I can't find that condo for that price, they react by saying, well, we're just gonna wait. And I politely say, no problem. But secretly I'm thinking, wait for what? In my opinion, waiting isn't gonna do anything about prices. The market has changed for good. And what's fueling the high prices is market condition number three, low inventory. And that's not changing anytime soon. There's simply not enough options to meet demand. The sellers that wanted to sell capitalized on the market in the last two years. And those new owners, well, they definitely don't want to sell. Yes, there'll be some homes trickling onto the market, but not enough to meet demand and definitely not enough to cause a buyer's market. The new construction in Pompano Beach and Boca Raton that was starting at nearly $2 million is almost sold out. And the rest of the inventory on the waterfront is limited too. So what do I think is gonna happen? I think the prices are just gonna stay the same or get higher. The demand for properties east of US-1 is tremendous. So when there's low inventory and high demand, doesn't that only equal one thing? Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching.